Hi everyone, welcome back to UWorld's question of the day. My name is Samantha, I am a nurse here at UWorld, and today we're continuing on with OB week. So today's question is that the nurses were doing new prescriptions for a client who was scheduled for induction of labor. The his client has a history of previous cesarean birth and a positive test result for group B streptococcus or GBS. Which of the following prescriptions should the nurse clarify? Go ahead and drop your answers in the comments below and I'll jump right into our explanation. So our correct option is option three, mesoprostol, because this would require clarification. It is not safe to give to the client. So mesoprostol is a cervical ripening agent. It's used before the onset of labor. What it does is to help soften the cervix to make it more pliable, allowing for easier dilation and effacement. Additionally, mesoprostol is a prostaglandin, so it can help stimulate those frequent contractions and further progress labor. Mesoprostol is contraindicated, however, in clients with previous C-sections because it increases their risk of uterine rupture significantly. Any client with a previous incision to the uterus would not be able to receive mesoprostol. Option one, two, and four are safe to give. Oxytocin is also another um, drug that's used for induction of labor, but because we can give it IV, it can be titrated, so we're still able to give it in a previous C-section client. Whereas with mesoprostol, once we give it, it's in pill form, we can't take it back or titrate it, so we'd not be able to get that one. But option um, one, oxytocin would be okay. Two, ampicillin, this is an antibiotic. We oftentimes give this for group B strep. We can even give it prophylactically. And lastly, nalbucine hydrochloride is just Nubane. This is an appropriate medication to manage pain. It also helps to control postpartum itching. So again, option number three was our correct option. Click the link in bio for more information on UWorld Nursing.